I'll, I'll talk to you briefly about it. So, in Tekken, you can store moves and then dash. So, like, you could do a combo and stuff. So, if I do Geese's half circle back forward, I mean, so he's Deadly Ravens, half circle back forward 3 plus 4, right? So, if I store this and move very quickly, not like that. It has to be quicker than that. I don't know why I can't get it out. There we go. You could do it. It's not as hard as I just, obviously, I messed up. But, yeah, it's not that hard. You just have to, you, you just have to know, you just have to know where, um, your timing is. So, most of the time when you're doing combos and stuff like that, and you're like, raw, I couldn't, you tried to do something, you could store the movement. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty old trick. Not, you can't do it with, like, moves that need the whole motion. Like, this needs the whole motion. Like, half circle back, and you need to press back at the end with this. With the free. So, you can't do, like, half circle back forward like that. Doesn't work. Or half circle back back dash. You can't do it. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. But, if you look at... Hold on, move this. So, as you can see... You need the forward. Any move that kind of like you can do half circle back and do forward or any move, any different motion. So like this, these are uh, forward motion afterwards. You dash in with it. And that's how it works. Yeah, so that's how you store motions. There's some moves that you can store motions with in terms of like tech rolling as well. So like Leroy, if if you if Leroy gets hit with a false crouch or anything like that, or gets a, if he gets a move where he knocks him down, and then you tech roll and hold up forward with the tech roll, you could do up forward one, which is the auto parry. That also works as well. So you just have to know what what uh, what moves you could kind of like store the motion with. So yeah, I hope that helps.